you requested this interview. Uh, you requested this opportunity to talk one-on-one -on -one, uh, with us. Why? Honestly, I just want to let the world know, you know, how sorry I am for my actions. And, you know, it, it's been a tough time for me. And I'm extremely embarrassed because of that video. Kareem, we've all seen the videos. Uh, you've seen the videos. Uh, I think it's fair to say that many would would say that those images, they speak for themselves. What, what is there for you to say? I'm, I'm definitely not that type of person. And uh, my mother raised me right. I was raised by my mom and my grandma. And uh, it was just us. And they've always taught me well. And I know right from wrong. And I'm always a person who want to see and you know, make everybody happy. So, so what happened? Take me back to that night. Uh, I understand this occurred in the hallway of your residence. Uh, in Cleveland back in February of this year. What what happened? Honestly, it just, it, it was just a, a long night. And to be exact, it don't really matter what happened. I was in the wrong. I could have, you know, took responsibility and, you know, made the right decision to, you know, find a way to de-escalate the whole situation. I think it does matter, though. We need to hear from you how you got to that point. What happened? It was definitely some things that were said and did that I did not like, and that's not an excuse. It's not, I, I'm, that person in that video did not deserve that. I didn't mean to hurt anybody or any, anything like that. And it's really tough. It's tough because, like, I feel like I let a lot of people down, and I just really want to, you know, apologize to everybody, the Chiefs organization, the, my family, and close friends. Who is this person? How did she end up being in the hallway of your, of your residence? Honestly, I never met the girl before besides that one time. I met her one time, and it was just kind of like a, I was m my first two days living at this new place at, at the Nine in Cleveland. And, Kind of just had some friends over. What were you arguing about in the hallway? It was just a disagreement, and I honestly I wanted her just to leave, but it's no excuse for for me to act that way or to even you know put myself in that position. When I watched the videos, the lasting impression for me was the kick. You kicking a woman while she was on the ground. You kicking a woman, period. How do you explain that? You can't really explain it. Uh, the video shows it. I was in the wrong, and I'm not that type of person. I, I'm really disappointed and embarrassed for myself and for my family, and I really am taking action to learn from this and do everything possible to you know, become a better man. The chiefs say that you were not truthful with them when you told them back in Feb February about what happened, were you? The Chiefs are right, and uh, I didn't tell them everything, and, you know, I don't, you know, blame them for anything. And my actions caused this, and I really wish I could, you know, just apologize to them and let them know it's no hard feelings between me and the Chiefs, and, you know, I love the program, love the people there, and I just want to, you know, take this time and better myself and, you know, not let anything like this ever happen again. What anymore. didn't you tell the Chiefs back then? I just didn't tell them the video, the, the video part that came out. I didn't say anything really about too much of that. And when I saw the video, it was like my first time seeing it. It was, I, I really didn't, I realized what I did once I saw the video and it was really tough to watch. and. I know I'm not that type of person. When was the first time you found out that the videos existed? After they came out. When everybody else saw the video, that's when I saw the video. That's when the Chiefs saw the video. And to see that is really is tough because I wish I would have handled it differently. What did you think of yourself when you saw those videos? I just thought of myself as being, uh, you know, just not me, that's not me. I was raised better than that, like I said, and I'm not the type of person to, you know, ever even think about putting my hands on anyone, a woman, a girl, it doesn't matter. 
Has the NFL ever questioned you about that incident? No, they have not. Uh, did they ever ask you to, uh, to talk about that incident? No, they have not. Okay. The Chiefs sent you home after the, the videos came out, and then they had you come back to the facility, and they released you. What did they say to you then? Uh, they believe that I lied to them. I lied to them. So they, they, they said, they, they pretty much said just, you know, we, we love you. Everybody cares about you. And just, you know, we got to let you go. We all care about you. It was a tough conversation. And the Chiefs, they did what was right. I made a poor decision. And I'm willing to take full responsibility of any actions that come, you know, from this point on.